Hello and welcome back to the channel. In this lesson we're going to be editing parcel lot line geometry in Civil 3D. So let's get started. In this exercise you'll use the feature line editing tools to modify parcel lot line geometry. You'll use two different methods to change the geometry of the two large parcels at the end of the cul-de-sac. First you'll learn about the grips that are available on lot lines. You'll use lot line grips with the feature line tools to change the geometry of a parcel. Second, you'll join two separate lot lines and then remove a point of intersection from the combined lot line. This exercise continues from swinging one end of a parcel lot line. So let's add a point of intersection to a parcel lot line. Go ahead and open up your parcel-2c drawing, which is located in your tutorials folder. Then select the back lot line between lots 105 and 106. Now you're in the Parcel Segment tab. Go into your Modify panel and select Edit Geometry. Now you can see that the Edit Geometry panel is displayed in the ribbon. Select Insert PI. Now our command line says to specify a point. Go ahead and snap to the intersection of the back lot line and the lot line that separates the parcels 105 and 106. Click to insert a point of intersection. Press enter to accept the default elevation of zero. Press escape twice to end the command. You can see now that the back lot line now has a point of intersection at the point at which the parcels meet. With a PI in this location, you can edit the lot line on one of the parcels without affecting the other. Let's go about grip editing a parcel lot line. In the drawing, select the lot line between parcels 104 and 105. If we zoom in, you'll see a blue diamond, which is our grip. This grip is available on attached lot lines which are created with the slide angle, slide direction, and swing line precise sizing tools available on the parcel layout tools toolbar. You can use this grip to slide this highlighted lot line along the lot line which it's attached. Press escape to deselect the lot line. Select the back lot line between parcels 105 and 106. Now if we zoom in here, you'll notice a square grip at the end of the segment. These grips are available on lot lines that were created either from the Autodesk Civil 3D objects or the fixed lot line and curve tools available on the Parcel Layout Tools toolbar. You can use these grips to change the endpoint location of the lot line. Now after you've clicked the grip at the top of the lot line, you can drag it towards the lot line that separates parcels 104 and 105. Type in the intersection snap to snap to this location. You'll notice that the area for lot 105 has automatically changed. However, now we have an unnecessary blue lot line. Go ahead and press escape, then select the blue lot line. Within the Parcel Segment tab, under Edit Geometry, select Trim. For the cutting edge, select the rear lot line of Parcel 105. Then press Enter. Now select the blue lot line to trim. Press Enter to end the command. Now let's go about breaking a parcel lot line. Select the back lot line shared by parcels 106 and 107. In the Parcel Segment tab, under Edit Geometry, you'll see we have a Break button. Now our command line is asking us to select an object to break. Select the rear lot line and type in F for first point. Now activate your intersection O-snap and select this location. 
Then press Enter. You'll see that two lot lines are now created, separated by the point that you specified. Let's go about joining two parcel lot lines. Go ahead and click this parcel segment, then go into Edit Geometry, and select Join. Now select this parcel line, then press Enter. These two lot lines are now a single entity. Let's go about deleting a point of intersection. Go ahead and select this lot line. Then under Edit Geometry, select Delete PI. Select this corner and press Enter twice to end the command. So that's how you go about editing parcel lot line geometry in Civil 3D. If you'd like to learn more about Civil 3D workflow tips and tricks, visit AutoCADCivil3DTraining.com and be sure to sign up for future video notifications or click subscribe on our YouTube channel. Again, my name is Charles Ellison. Take care.